I found 11 remote jobs that you can actually do at night and none of them are gonna be phone jobs where you're basically just spending all of your time on the phone and most of them require zero or very little experience. Now we're gonna go over all the details of these jobs. You're gonna know exactly what the job is, what you would do during the job, the skills you're gonna need for it, the pros and cons of the job. And then at the end, I'm gonna give it a score from one to 10. So if you appreciate me doing videos like this, go ahead and cheers the like button and let's jump into it. Number one on the list is going to be a review clerk and specifically an image review clerk. That's right, in a world where every detail counts, there's a role that turns a keen eye for detail into actionable data. And an image review clerk categorizes images, typically something like a state license plate. And this ensures quality within set parameters. And image review clerks make about 36 to $51,000 a year. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen, you can check them out. Now, when it comes to some of the skills you're gonna need for this, of course, attention to detail is one of them. Also the ability to quickly and accurately categorize images, as well as basic computer skills and familiarity with image processing software. Some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to work in a unique and specialized field, and you also contribute to important data collection and analyzation. Some of the cons of this one are just because of the types of employers you work for, a lot of the time you are going to be micromanaged. But overall, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna give it an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be an internet researcher. And this is where you get to combine the skills of a detective with the precision of a librarian. And in this position, you would gather and analyze online data for different projects. And you typically might be working for marketing firms, academic institutions, or just normal businesses. And this is almost like being a digital archeologist, sifting through layers of digital content to unearth valuable artifacts of information. And internet researchers make 63 to $114,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Some of the skills you'd need for this one are proficiency in using search engines, databases, and social media, the ability to analyze data and identify patterns, and skill in creating reports and presentations. The way you'd get started with this one is you'd learn research skills through free online courses, then you'd apply for a remote entry-level internet research or freelance jobs, emphasizing your online navigation and research skills, and it definitely doesn't hurt to have a portfolio. Then you can build your experience with online internships or freelance jobs, or you can just volunteer to work in research roles to get some experience. And then you can pursue online online certifications such as the CIRS or the Certified Internet Research Specialist Certification. And then you can keep your skills current with online platforms such as Coursera. So some of the pros of this one are continuous learning in various different topics, as well as the fact that it's incredibly interesting. Some of the cons of this one are it does require constant focus, it can involve sifting through large amounts of data, and you have the need to stay updated with the latest online search tools. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. By the way, speaking of searching the internet, you might've found this video video through a search. And I get over a million views a month from search alone using YouTube. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm able to make multiple six figures per month with this channel. And I'm revealing all my secrets to you in a live training that I will be doing Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time this week. So click the link down in the description below to check that out. And if you're watching it in the future, I may be holding a live training as well, and I'll make sure to keep the page updated so you can click the same link to see when the next one is. Next is going to be a retirement planning consultant. And this is basically where you'll be helping individuals and businesses craft plans on how they're going to reach their financial goals so that they can retire. And this is kind of like being a financial GPS. Now this position requires strong leadership skills, public speaking, customer service, financial skills, and a little bit of sales acumen. Now, the way you get started with this is you basically have to pass a test, right? So you're gonna have to take the financial planner certification test. But the good thing is this doesn't actually take that long. Usually you can complete it within seven to 10 days. And in many cases, the company will actually provide the training for you. So some of the pros here are you have a very high income potential and there's opportunities for career growth and advancement. Some of the cons is it does require self-motivation and discipline in order to succeed. And there's typically not a guaranteed large earn Earned income because most of your income is going to be commission based. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, one of the best ways to retire is to just simply make a bunch of money. And one of the best ways to make a bunch of money is to start a business. And in my opinion, the best business to start is YouTube, as I talked about before. And I do actually accept a few coaching clients every single month where I teach them exactly what I did to get this channel to the point where it is now making six figures per month with me only having to work four hours 
hours a week. So if you think you're a good fit for coaching, you want to take YouTube very seriously, you can apply. I'll put a link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a patient engagement partner. And this is somebody who handles calls and scheduling at healthcare centers. And this position is commonly found in hospitals and clinics. Now this one does involve some use of phone, but you're not going to be on the phone all day like a customer service job. And you get to directly impact patient care and satisfaction. And patient engagement specialists make about 72 to $129,000 a year. So this is one of those many healthcare related jobs that are really good and just about nobody knows about them. So some of the skills you're going to need here are very strong communication skills, proficiency in general computer use and data entry, and the ability to multitask. Now the way to get into this one is to first look for jobs like virtual care coordinator. And there's many jobs out there like this that don't require previous experience and can be done at night. Then you can volunteer for online patient advocacy groups, and this will help you to gain some experience. Then you can use platforms such as LinkedIn, Coursera, Skillshare, etc., to gain more experience, build up your portfolio, etc. You can also try networking and online patient care forums, meet people that are already doing the job, and get referrals from them. Now, some of the pros of this one are you have an opportunity to make a real difference. There's typically steady employment in a growing healthcare industry, and there's a lot of opportunities for advancement down the line. Some of the cons are it can involve high pressure situations and emotional calls. It does require meticulous attention to detail and multitasking, and shift work may include nights and or weekends. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out. But overall, I really like this one. It is a bit harder to get into than some of the other ones on the list. You may have to accept a lower entry level role first, but I do really like this one. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an overnight customer care specialist. In this position, you'd basically be handling nighttime live chat support queries, and you'd typically be working for companies that offer 24 seven customer support. And live chat is actually people's favorite way of getting customer support. So more and more companies are embracing this. And in this position, you'd make about 36 to $51,000 a year. Some of the skills you're going to need here are strong communication skills, the ability to solve problems and provide solutions quickly, and a good grasp of technology, especially for the company that you're working for. This one is relatively easy to get into. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Some of the pros for this one are you typically get paid higher if you do the overnight shifts. It is usually a quieter working environment. And depending on the company and the industry you work in, it could lead to better jobs down the line. Some of the cons are, of course, working non-traditional hours can disrupt your regular sleep patterns. And there's potentially less team interaction because it's a night shift. Therefore, it might lead to loneliness. But overall, I like this one. Very easy one to get into. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an e-commerce store manager. And this is basically somebody who strategizes and orchestrates online store operations. And this is designed to get enhanced traffic, conversions, and sales. And the cool thing is they actually, in many cases, prefer to hire younger people for this. For instance, if you're making the ads, a lot of the people that are going to be buying the stuff, especially if you're making ads that go on TikTok, for instance, are going to be younger people. And so who is better to make ads for younger people than other younger people? So it's actually relatively easy to get into these positions. And e-commerce managers make 80 to $147,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you're going to need for this are proficiency in digital marketing. You're also going to have to have effective collaboration and communication skills, and you need strong analytical skills so that you can interpret sales data. Now, a great way to get started with a position like this is the same way that a bunch of people on my channel that I interviewed got started in digital marketing. Marketing. There was even a 16 year old named James who was able to get a job in digital marketing. And they were all able to do it through what's known as the digital career blueprint. And they're actually offering a free masterclass where you can check out clicking the link down in the description in the pinned comment below that will go over exactly what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing jobs, and whether or not they're a good fit for you and your personality, as well as exactly how you can get started in your digital marketing career. So definitely check that out. Link is in the description in the pinned comment below. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen if you'd like to pause the video. So some of the pros of this one are you have an opportunity to be at the front line of online commerce. It is a diverse and dynamic work environment, and there's potential for high earnings as well as career growth down the line. Some of the cons are you do have to keep up with the rapidly changing online trends, and it can be a little bit high pressure because you need to meet your sales targets. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a community content moderator. And in this position, you're basically going to be making sure that online content as well as people inside communities align with the guidelines and rules of the communities themselves. And it's kind of like being a gardener of the digital landscape, pruning unruly content to cultivate a healthy community. And in this position, you'd make about 41 to $72,000 a year. Now, some of the skills that you'd need for this are going to be excellent communication skills and cultural sensitivity, the ability to analyze content and user behavior objectively, familiarity with social media platforms, and a strong understanding of digital safety and privacy.
privacy practices. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Now, some of the pros of this one are you have an opportunity to positively impact online communities, and it's a growing field with increasing importance in the digital age. Some of the cons are it can involve exposure to sensitive or even disturbing content, and you need to balance the enforcement of rules with nurturing community growth. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next is going to be an Amazon sourcing specialist. And this is basically somebody who spearheads supplier identification and sourcing processes for Amazon products. And this is crucial for e-commerce businesses and independent sellers aiming for market success. And this position you'd make about 73 to $127,000 a year. Now it's especially helpful in this position if you speak something like Mandarin or Vietnamese, but it isn't required. Now some of the skills you're gonna need for this are strong market research and analytical skills, negotiation and relationship building ability, and knowledge of Amazon's marketplace as well as e-commerce trends. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen, you can check them out. Now some of the pros of this one are you play a central role in a booming e-commerce sector, there's opportunities for creative and strategic thinking, and there's potentials for high earning and growth. Some of the cons are it requires you to keep up with the fast paced market changes, and it involves risk assessment and making pivotal decisions. But overall, I really like this one. It is a bit harder to get into than some of the other ones on the list, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below any of the ones on the list that you really like, or the ones that you don't like, or ones you thought I should have included in the video, and there's a good chance it'll make it in the next video. Next one is going to be a medical data entry specialist. And this is basically where you're gonna be inputting patient data into what's known as an EHR, or an electronic health record system. And you're basically going to be maintaining accuracy as well as compliance to healthcare regulations. And you typically be working for healthcare facilities or medical billing firms. And there's a saying in the healthcare world that if you didn't document it, you didn't do it. In this position, you'd expect to make about 41 to $64,000 a year. Now that's pretty decent to start off, but the next one I'm gonna go over is very similar to this one and you make much, much more than that. And by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score, but I'm combining it with the next one on the list, which is a clinical documentation specialist. And this is somebody who basically ensures that medical records speak the truth of the patient's journey. And this is somebody who basically reviews medical records, ensuring accuracy and consistency. And this is a higher level position and you're kind of overseeing the other people. So it's almost like an editor for writers. And in this position, you make about 64 to $114,000 a year. So as you can see, there's really good career progression here. Now, this is one that does require previous medical experience. But with that being said, I thought I'd put it on the list just to show you that there is a really good progression that you can go into. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can check it out if you'd like. So yeah, this one's really good. I'll give it an opportunity score of eight out of 10, just because of the fact that it is a bit harder to get into. Next on the list is going to be a group facilitator. This is somebody who basically guides workshops or therapy sessions. And group facilitators make about 63 to $107,000 a year. Now this one does typically require previous experience, although depending on the type of group facilitator that you are, you may already have that experience. Now, some of the skills required here are, of course, strong communication skills and leadership ability, the ability to manage and guide a group, as well as the ability to facilitate discussion. And since the pandemic, there's been a lot of online groups that have been going on, and people will pay really good money to be a part of these groups. Shut up and take my money. So some of the pros here are you do get to do rewarding work. Some of the cons are it can be difficult to maintain different personalities and manage conflict. It also requires constant adaptability and quick thinking, and the success of sessions and the success of the people in the group heavily depend on your facilitation skills. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. But overall, I really like this one. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, this video right here went crazy viral. Seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring, and you can check it out by clicking right here.